I'm going to check back in with Storm Track 5 meteorologist Aaron Little. Foggy out there this morning. Yeah, we do have a little bit of haze in our downtown skyline and some patchy dense fog over northwestern portions of Missouri. At this time yesterday, we were really in the thick of things with thunderstorms across our area. If you're looking for rain this morning, you're going to have to make a pretty far uh, travel here south along areas of I-35 across south central Kansas, Oklahoma. Be keeping an eye on this moisture. I do think we could see an isolated area of rain as we're moving towards a uh, Tomorrow, we may get some of that cloud cover from those storms to our southwest as we're heading towards later today here in Kansas City. Again, for the majority of us, just a little bit of haze, but if you go north along I-29, this is where visibilities drop pretty rapidly from St. Joe through areas of Maryville and Tarkio. That's where you may run into visibilities that could impact potentially your morning routine. In terms of any kind of rainfall here for the short term, it's going to be very, very quiet, very slim pickings in terms of any kind of uh, rainfall on your rain gauge after yesterday, but we will be keeping an eye on isolated thunderstorm chances for your Friday. I think at best I have a 20% opportunity. Most of this moisture just kind of staying around our area, but not necessarily within our neighborhoods in terms of rain chances for your Friday. Looking ahead to your weekend, it is going to be all about the higher temperatures and the higher levels of humidity as well. I think we're going to quickly climb here into the middle and even a few upper 90s by your Saturday. I have posted a Storm Track 5 weather alert for both Saturday and Sunday due to the heat, just because we may see this prolonged stretch for two to three days where we may see high temperatures well into the 90s, heat index readings closer to 105 for your weekend plans. Here's the newest update of your Security Bank 7 day forecast. We'll see thunderstorm chances as we're looking ahead to next week. That will break our heat, hopefully just a little bit, taking a little bit of an edge after those highs in the upper 90s. Over to you, Gina. Thanks, Erin.